Sterling, one. <laughs> Sterling, two. Welcome one and all to Clifton Campus for the ultimate Nottingham Games here. And uh, if you're unfamiliar with the Nottingham Games, it's a scaled down varsity in one day. And um, 12 p.m. noon on Sunday the 13th of June, we have the ultimate. This is Reese Davies taking you through the ultimate varsity. I am right next to a main road, which is not ideal, but... Um, we're going to carry on anyway. Um, we've just had the pull. And the game is underway. Trent just had a huge chance, actually. Huge, huge chance. Um, but um, fails to capitalise, ultimately. Uh, failure to catch in the end zone means that we're still yet to see any points here. But the game is still very young. And whilst the game is still very young, I'm going to run through both teams. So we'll start with the UON team, the green and gold. We've got Israel, Booth, Yang, Riley, Miller, Gayton, Ferris, Bell, Symington, Stewart, Bentley, Potter, Gill, Wilson and Watsenby. I hope I pronounced that correctly. And for Nottingham Trent, we have Ibrahim, Page, Robertson, Howe, Morgan, Karimi, Yusuf, Hayes, Twitchen, Knights, Brock, Sharp and Fgrave. This promises to be an absolutely incredible match. The last time I was at Clifton Campus was for the Varsity 2019 Ultimate Match in which the UON won quite convincingly in the end after a uh, after a tough start. And there we go, we're off the mark. Fantastic start for the green and gold. Absolutely brilliant. And UON have taken the lead. Incredibly so, that is fantastic. Um, we've also got players here that, uh, that were here two years ago. They made excellent impact. We've got uh, Hannah Booth, Sarah Potter, who who scored the opening point. She was here two years ago. It was excellent then, and has obviously made a big impact now. Also for UOM, we have Tom Bell. Two years ago, he was uh, he was a fresher, that now is in his final year of his undergraduate degree. As, oh, that is fantastic by Wan Tambi there. And um, apologies if I've butchered the pronunciation of his name, but Trent tries to make an attack there and um, the ball, um, the ball, goodness me, the <laughs> Frisbee <laughs> was heading towards the end zone before an incredible interception as the UON have the disc again now. Slater receives... Uh, Emily Slater there, um, Emily Stewart, sorry, um, playing in her first sort of varsity fixture in her first year at UONU. Nottingham yeah, Trent, um, well, I, it's, it's an interesting one. I don't, I don't think they quite believe, believe in themselves. Um, they... They put up quite a sort of self-deprecating meme on their uh, on their social media. UON are definitely the favourites um, in this fixture, but um, yeah, let's hope let's hope Trent give them a good game. We, we want a competitive uh, game this afternoon for sure. 
absolutely as uh, as Wilson receives the disc UON on the attack trying to double their advantage here George Gayton in the team as well an unreal talent for UON he's still got another year but it feels like he's been here forever honestly but um, yeah he has uh, represented uh, GB in games before he is a real talent an absolutely excellent ultimate player as he receives it again now and uh, UON on the cusp of claiming another point let's hope they can finish the job here as uh, Gayton weighs up his options one to bay Trent marking well to be fair we're just outside the end zone options limited and they are literally on the edge of the end zone right now incredible play very patient approach play from UON and there we go that's 2-0 fantastic fantastic that was brilliant there and Wilson doubles UON's advantage 2-0 to the green and gold that was incredible approach play as the ball happens shouts of encouragement from UON players on and off the pitch just incredible team spirit there, there's there's always been that team spirit there's um there's a lot of players in the team that have been here for years as i as i alluded to earlier um which means that the uh the you know the new players really uh really feel the the aura of the club because of the experienced players showing them the ropes and the longevity of some players like your Joel Millers, like your Charlie Ferris's, um, as Ferris makes an unbelievable catch. Charlie Ferris catches in the end zone. An incredible long pass. Ferris using all of his six foot five inches there to climb above his opponent and catch the disc in the end zone. That was absolutely fantastic. As the UON triple their advantage now, 3 0 to the green and gold. Two years ago, this fixture was played on the Clifton Campus 3G. Today, we're on the, uh, the rugby pitch, we're on grass. And um, basically, all the players have said that they prefer it on grass. However, with the conditions, it is uh, a slight dust bowl at the moment. It's uh, extremely hot today. It's 27 degrees, no clouds at all, really. It is... Uh, it is quite something here today but uh, it doesn't seem to be affecting the players for, for either team they are running around giving it their all no one looks particularly tired yet but um, the substitution rules in ultimate do help that with um, rolling subs it means that players can rest accordingly so when a player comes off doesn't mean they're off forever it means they can come back on whenever they are needed If you're uh, unaware of the uh, ultimate rules, I'll, uh, I'll run through the, uh, the big ones. So, of course, it involves a disc. <laughs> Hope you're aware of that one at least, uh, or a frisbee. Um, and basically, the aim of the game is to catch the disc in your opponent's end zone to score a point. And of course, whoever wins uh, is the team that, that, that scored the most points. When you are in possession of the disc, you cannot move cannot travel as uh, Miller receives the ball those are basically the big two rules here as um, as, as you are on the attack again absolutely relentless today Miller oh he just misses it unfortunately there and is intercepted as uh, Trent repel the UON pressure this time just to catch up on the score it is 3-0 to the green and gold just absolutely relentless. Trent, though, not giving up, it must be said. Far from it, as, uh, as Trent launched an attack of their own here. But Joel defends it. Well, I was about to say, Joel defended it really well, but um, I think he might have been picked to the post there. As 
Trent do score. Tom Knight, I believe, catching it in the UON end zone. It should have been an easy catch for Joel Miller there, but um, he just seemed to lose the flight of the disc. And um, Tom Knight was, was waiting in the wings to uh, decapitalise. And we're back underway here at Clifton Campus after a short break. And uh, Joel Miller there close to uh, extending the lead for the University of Nottingham. But uh, in the end, was quite far away. UON still lead. Trent did pull one back just before the break. But we continue nonetheless. University of Nottingham should not have should not be deterred from their conceding. They are still very much in the driving seat of this match. On an absolutely gorgeous day on Clifton Campus. As Bell receives lots of bodies in the Trent end zone for UON. Bell finds Ferris. Weighs up his options. Goes back to Bell. And this approach plays fantastic as Ferris scores. That is fantastic. University of Nottingham extend their lead. That is brilliant. Charlie Ferris gets his second point of the game. He is bowing out in some style. UON not in any discomfort at all. As we take another pull. And uh, Trent now in possession. Oh, they might be in here. Trent very close to the UN end zone. Oh, but it's a fantastic interception to deny. Nottingham Trent, their second point of the game. Oh, that was expert defending there. That was absolutely vital. An incredible interception there from Riley to keep the score at 4-1. I really thought Trent were in there. However, Riley was on hand to deny them what seemed like a certain point. As Trent come again. They've had their moments in this match, Trent, but um, Eurowind's defending has just been excellent. I think Trent's play has been quite pedestrian, quite predictable, and it has allowed Eurowind hey, to, hey, right. most of the time, comfortably defend. Of course, at times they've been a bit stretched, but come through and thus far have only been breached once as UON come again absolutely relentless they want to put this game to bed as soon as possible Barber in possession there finds Symington who is the incumbent president finds Gayton a certified legend of the club no one no one can argue that Wilson one of the point scorers so far for University of Nottingham goes back to Simington. The approach play is just so patient. Barber now into the end zone and it's caught by Riley. That's fantastic. It's 5-1 to the University of Nottingham. Excellent approach play once again. And it was the women there, the women of the team combining fantastically. Barber quite, still quite a way out from the Trent end zone. Found an unbelievable pass to Riley at one end, stopping Trent scoring with a vital interception. And then she goes down the other end and catches in the Trent end zone to extend University of Nottingham's lead to 5-1. They are very much in command here.
Poor mistake from Ferris there. Um, sets Trent on their way, and he'll feel very, uh, very foolish if Trent go on to score from here. Missing a simple catch, you know, after he previously, um, you know, defied the odds to to score a point earlier on. But Trent's attack comes to nothing ultimately, and he gets away with one there. As the score remains 5-1 to the green and gold. Trent just lacking that conviction in the attack. Um, of course, right at the start of the game, they had an unbelievable chance to strike first blood. Ultimately came to nothing after a poor, poor attempt of a catch in the UON end zone. And UON basically have not looked back since then. Very comfortable as Miller receives it now in his final game. Must be emotional for him. He has represented the green and gold in Ultimate Frisbee for years and years now. As Ferris receives it. And he tries to find... Yes! It's there! It's 6-1! Oh my goodness! That was an unbelievable pass from Charlie Ferris. Leaving Bentley with very little to do. She just had to catch it in the end zone. And extend the green and gold's lead. That was fantastic. 6-1. As uh, there's a nice breeze. That's nice on this extremely hot day. I needed that. But we have another pull from Miller. And uh, of course that means Trent now in possession. Really nice approach play, but they're still quite away from uh, from the end zone. Well, uh, Trent just tried an, an audacious pass from their own half into the Euro end, end zone. For a second, it looked like it might come off, but then the wind took it, and uh, Joel Miller, quite comfortable there, watched it out as the score remains 6-1. And Potter now in possession. Quite a loose pass there to Miller. And uh, this has presented Trent with quite an opportunity now to uh, pull one back. Quite a loose play there from Potter, unfortunately. But UOM get the bodies back. Yeah, they did take advantage of that loose pass in the end. Got the bodies up the pitch. And uh, Trent have pulled one back 6-2 now to the green and gold. Despite that uh, disappointment, they are still very much in control of this match. Trent take their pull and we're back on the way here. Wilson in possession, finds Miller, the season pro. And he tries a long run to find Israel. No, quite a way out in the end, unfortunately. It remains 6-2 for a second there. It looked like the green and gold might be extending their lead. It was an audacious attempt from Miller there. And in the end, Israel was, uh, was nowhere near it, unfortunately. For a second, just for a split second there. I thought the green and gold might be making it 7-2. Unfortunately not, still 6-2 at Clifton Campus this afternoon. Let's try and get away with one. Have to commend UON's varying uh, methods of attack. Sometimes they've been patient playing it short. Breaking Trent down. Sometimes they've, they've just taken the long option and it's come off. 
as we have Bell with the disc. Yeah, Finds Symington. Oh, that was just simple. That was too easy. Fantastic. That's 7 2. Symington, the incumbent president for the 21 22 academic year, gets on the score sheet. It's 7 2 to the green and gold. Bell picking out the perfect pass. It just seemed too easy. Back on the way here, the Clifton Campus, 7-2 to the green and gold after Marina Symington's quite easy. Uh, catching the end zone in the end. Excellently found by Bell. UOM very much in control. Trent in possession now though, trying to reduce that deficit and the approach play is good. They, uh, they're looking dangerous. But um, the momentum has slightly stalled. They are still in possession, though. As he tries to hammer into the end zone. Oh, that was... Uh, it had quite some pace on it. If someone caught that, that would have been very impressive. But the Trent attack comes to an end. Close for no cigar. It remains 7-2 to the green and gold. An audacious hammer attempt there. It, it, it was close. It was close. But um, it still remains... 7-2. UON obviously did regain possession from that and uh, it's quite a loose pass unfortunately. Trent back in possession. But then an absolutely shocking pass as they were up the pitch. They'll, they'll really rue that missed opportunity if um, you know they are quite a way behind. Opportunities like that don't come very often for Trent and he just really failed to make the most of it there. You earn back in possession. Stewart. Take it, take it time. She's found Gill. Gill to Gayton. Gayton finds. Ah, oh, very close. But no cigar, unfortunately. An excellent pass by Gayton, but. Um, Unfortunately, not met in the end zone by Stewart. The score remains 7-2. This might be the longest we've gone without seeing a point for either side. The conditions perhaps taking their toll. It is extremely hot today and there is very little breeze. And Trent back in possession. Still very, uh, very far from the... Uh, UON end zone, uh, very loose pass. Approach play for the most part has been very poor from Trent today, uh, very disappointing, especially in these conditions. And Gayton has the disc now as he finds a teammate. Very patient approach play from UON. Finds Stewart, Stewart finds Gill. Gillian Acres here. Can he pick out the right pass? Gill finds Gayton. Gayton finds Stewart. And Stewart. Fortunately found Riley, but um, unfortunately the pitch not quite wide enough there. For the University of Nottingham. Excellent approach play again but unfortunately did not result in a point for the green and gold this time. How's Trent have it now? Excellent approach play. Oh, and again, just really loose play. Every time Trent get an opportunity, they, it's either a loose throw or dropping easy catches. Extremely disappointing from their point of view. Especially because UON have been so superior. So when Trent do have the disc, they should really take more care with it. As Gayton finds... Ah, oh, good defending in the end from Trent. Gayton sent an excellent pass into the end zone. But um, it was intercepted. And uh, Trent have it back. Definitely now, definitely now. I can, I can say with absolute certainty that this is the longest we've gone in the game without... Any points being scored, really loose play from Trent again. UON have been given a gift here. Very high up the pitch. Can they make it 8-2 here? 
Can they take advantage of this opportunity? As Gaten has the disc. Oh, well received by Stewart because that was quite a tough pass to handle. As Stewart finds, oh, so close. Stewart picked up an excellent pass there. Riley just not quite tall enough. As um, she unfortunately dropped the pass. It would have been an unbelievable point for the green and gold, but uh, unfortunately, the score still remains 7 2. Let's try to come again. Can they have a period of sustained possession? The answer is no. Another poor pass. They try going very direct there. And ultimately, did not work at all. There's UON back in possession. Okay, the players are going to take a break now. I'll rejoin you when we're back underway. Back on the way here at Clifton. After a much needed drinks break for the players, Riley in possession now for the green and gold. Finds Gayton, he uh, had to dive to receive the pass and maintain UON possession. You are very deep in their own half, but the approach play again is patient. Stewart now playing her first. Varsity to Bentley, finds Riley. Riley goes back to Gayton. Very patient play again. UON still in possession. Bentley now. Getting closer and closer to that end zone. We are so close now. Stewart in possession. Very well intercepted there. Unfortunately, the green and gold. The score remains 7-2. We have gone quite a while now without seeing a point. Perhaps the conditions playing a part, perhaps the lack of competitive action for both teams playing a part. It remains 7-2 and it has been 7-2 for quite a while. Another loose pass by a Trent player. I feel like I'm constantly repeating myself about that. UN now have a chance. Gayton in possession. Yang now. Poor throw. Poor throw. Eurowin lose possession. Just need a period of and some sustained possession again. Some, some accurate passing and some maintained possession to get a point here. The, uh, the point scoring has dried up. At the moment. I'm here in a pink high-vis vest. Check that out with the media. Didn't have to wear this two years ago. Um, it's uh, <laughs> quite an interesting fashion choice. Trent going close there, making it 7-3. Excellent approach play this time from the men and women in pink. Unfortunately, unable to capitalise. Fortunately for the green and gold. 7-2 still. 
Green Girl really need a point to press home their uh, already quite large advantage, but I think the longer they go without a point, the confidence may dwindle in this uh, in this tough weather. You might be able to hear, the mic might be picking up just the words of encouragement and, um, and advice from the UOM players currently on the sidelines. Just this team spirit is, is absolutely incredible. Bentley now. Now play stops. She may have strayed off the pitch. And we have another stoppage. It's been quite a stop start in this time where we've had no points. Not helping the flow of the game. And not particularly helping either side. As you when lose possession now. Chance for Trent to pull one back, perhaps. And here they come. That was excellent. That was absolutely excellent from Nottingham Trent University. They've pulled one back. We finally see a point. Unfortunately, it's not for a team in green and gold. It's for the team in pink at 7-3. Brilliant play. Brilliant play there from Nottingham Trent University. Pulling one back. UON have not scored a point in quite a while. Point needed very soon, I believe. To really press home that advantage. The, uh, the domination has stagnated slightly. So let's hope they can return here. Trent in possession, moving it quite nicely here. But um, the UOM players seem to uh, to be marking effectively. Trent though, they are getting forward and they drop it again. It was quite a tough one to catch. But uh, a chance for UOM now in Trent's half to start with. This is a huge chance to perhaps get another point. And I say that, and they've just surrendered possession. Um, very loose, very loose, unfortunately. Um, Boo failing to catch quite a, a loose pass. Cannot blame her for failing to, uh, to get on the end of that one. So Trent back in possession now. Inside the UON half. Solid approach play. But can they turn it into a point? A hammer into the end zone. Oh my goodness, no. Well, much to the relief of the green and gold, Trent fails to capitalise there. It was a fantastic hammer into the UON end zone. But the hammer had so much pace on it that it was very difficult to catch. And fortunately, 
for the team wearing green, that proved to be the case as he dropped it and the score remains 8-3 here. As UON gets back underway, Gayton finds Potter. Potter goes long. She goes long. It's Ferris. He's done it. It's 9-3. It just, it seemed to be in the air for ages and ages there. Potter with the long pass. The disc hung in the air for what seemed an eternity. But you never doubted Charlie Ferris to catch it inside the end zone and make it 9-3 to the green and gold. Ewan gets back underway with the pole, and we go again. Of course, I, I referred to earlier uh, a stage in the match where the University of Nottingham went quite a while without scoring. Um, but of course, Tom Bell ended that as here come Trent, and they've got one back. That was fantastic play. That was absolutely fantastic play from Nottingham Trent University there, moving it. Brilliantly, absolutely brilliantly. Tom Knight with the perfect pass. Back underway here at Clifton Campus. I thought I was going to be um, in my chair the whole time in, uh, on one of the uh, UON Ultimate Teams. Um, fold out chairs but um, the game has been so exciting that I've been on my feet most of the time and rightly so getting closer to the action and uh, honestly just enjoying what I'm seeing here you know Trent have had their moments but largely have been poor UON aside from that period where they couldn't score have been absolutely magisterial and um just want to press home this advantage now and and, uh, and ultimately tie it up. But Stewart now has the ball. Finds Ferris. Ferris weighs up his options here. Ferris finds Gayton, the old duo combining. Back to Ferris, back to Gayton. Great link up there. To Stewart. Stewart weighs up her options. Gayton now. Finds Ferris. Ferris to Gayton. This is very fast play now. It's slowed down slightly, Ferris now. Ewan still moving it. Ferris again. They're very close to the NTU end zone now. Ferris again. Gayton again. To Ferris. This is unbelievable link up. Ferris. Ewan still in possession with Batambe. To Ferris again. Extremely patient play. Brilliant from Ferris. Surely now. Oh. <laughs> Unfortunately, that patient approach play did not yield a point for the green and gold. Stewart, unfortunately, not able to catch in the end zone. It, it looked like it was heading straight into her hands, but then the wind took it. And, uh, and it squirmed away from her as the score remains 9-4 to the University of Nottingham. Trent now, of course, as a result of that, back in possession. What can they do with it? Well, it looks like they're not going to score. I, was, <laughs> I thought that was a certain point for the team in pink. But um, again, missing, missing these catches. If you miss catches like that, you're not going to win the game. It's as simple as that. Um, as you are in uh, surrender possession, surrender possession, surrender possession, um, and Trent in the UON half. Moving it quite nicely here, patiently. What can NTU come up with here? They need a point and they need it quickly, given the state of this game. He tries a hammer again. Oh, that is brilliant. That was fantastic. NTU, strike back. 9-5. 
He's been trying that hammer all game. And this time it came off. And it came off in a big way. Tom Knight's catching in the end zone. Wow, that was brilliant. That might be the point of the game for me. That was, that was unreal from NTU. They are still very much behind in this match, but they've given themselves a glimmer of hope there with some brilliant play. The hammer finally comes off. Trying to get us back underway here, 9 5 to the green and gold. Bell receives the pull. And here come UON Symington. UONU's incumbent president weighs up her options, goes back to Bell. Bell also does the same, weighs up his options. Very good marking from Trent, giving him, uh, giving him very few options here. And we've just had a stoppage because of a Trent player slapping the disc whilst in Bell's hand, of course, against the rules. But we get back underway as Bell finds Symington now. Symington finds Miller. That was unbelievable for Miller to keep this attack alive as he finds Gill. Gill now. Who can he find? Can he find someone in the end zone, perhaps? No, he goes back to Miller. Miller now to Wilson. Wilson weighs up his options, tries the hammer. Too much pace on it. Trying to get away with one there. Still 9-5 to the green and gold. See a lot of hammers in this game. Only one has come off so far, and that was for the team in pink. An interesting attempt there from Wilson. Unfortunately, not coming off. It remains 9-5. As Trent now have the disc uh, deep in their own territory. Can they get it up the pitch? And I think they pull another one back. It'll look quite, uh, quite scary. But no, Wilson intercepts very well. To stun that Trent attack. And pretty much kill it in its crib. And as a result of that, UON back in possession with Bell. Finds Miller. Miller finds Symington. She receives it well. Who can she find now? Loose. Unfortunately, there. Still 9 5. UON could do with, uh, with a point very soon. It sounds quite obvious, obviously, with, with the aim of the game being to score points, but. Just in terms of the game state, I feel like UON could do with another point here. Just to press home their advantage once more as uh, Trent lose out. And it does mean that UON have an opportunity here. They have the disc high up, the pitch deep in Trent territory. And we start with Bell. What can Bell do here? Who can he find? Finds Miller. Miller now, just past the halfway line. Who can he find? Wilson. Very fast passing. Wilson. That is fantastic. That was unbelievable. That was absolutely fantastic there. So, Wilson. He stopped. He weighed up his options. He wasn't the best pass, to be honest. But, fortunately for him and his team, Gill with the layout. Diving to the floor to catch the disc in the end zone. And there it is. They catch the pull, and here come Trent now. A bit of momentum, not letting the uh, the disc hit the floor. They've caught it, and they want to get going quickly. And understandably so, given uh, given their situation. As Tom Knights tries something quite audacious and was never really going to work there. No one anywhere near that. And uh, Trent failed to capitalise. Means that UON will have possession again. My Israel goes to pick up the disc and get things underway again for her side. 
10 5 here at Clifton Campus. What can Israel do here? That was a fantastic pass from my Israel. Ferris now in possession. Ferris finds Bell. Still very deep in their own half here. Gaten now. Excellent pass. And a slight stoppage. Uh, well, Potter caught the uh, caught the disc in the end zone, but I think the ball had gone out wide of the pitch, unfortunately. So the score remains 10-5. Unfortunately, Potter not not scoring again this time. Here come Trent. What can they do with it now? They, they've been they've been uh, given an opportunity here that they may not have expected. Trent now. In UON territory. What can they do with it? They're going to do a loose pass and hit the floor. That's what they're going to do with it. Failing to capitalise there. UON back in possession. Bell. Hammer to Ferris. Ferris was always going to win that. He was contested, but you never doubted Ferris to, uh, to catch that disc. Gator now finds Ferris. Ferris. Who can he find? He goes long. And intercepted, unfortunately. Still remains 10 5 after some great defending. Restart again. Trent with the disc. Deep in their own half. They've got up the pitch well now. And they go long. They go very long. And it doesn't come off. Very rude one there. From Nottingham Trent University and it almost came off. Close but no cigar remains 10-5. To the green and gold. been uh, a short while since UON's last point. I think another one, uh, another one for the green and gold really kills this game. If he's not been killed already, next point would. Israel now. Bell. Short range pass to Bell with a hammer. Finds Ferris. Ferris. Gets it back. Bell. Finds Gayton to Bell. This movement is incredible. This passing and movement is just unbelievable. Bell now wait, stops, weighs up his options. The pace is slightly gone. Finds Gaten. Gaten to Ferris. What can Ferris do? Sarah's waiting there in the end zone. And Ferris finds her! Fantastic pass from Ferris! Sarah was jolly on the spot there. Sarah Potter to make it 11-5, surely. Surely now that is curtains for the team in pink. 
Unbelievable play. Back on the way here. After Potter's point, 11-5 is the score. Wilson. Wilson kills that Trent attack in its crib. As Booth looks long for Bentley, unable to find her, unfortunately. 11-5 still. Excellent attempt there from Booth. Didn't quite come off, but some extremely positive play from the green and gold. Of course, Trent restart deep inside their own half now, on the edge of their own end zone. And uh, quite an interesting one there. They, they try to pass. It hit um, Wilson, I believe it was. But the pass still found its intended recipient. Symington intercepts, though. And UON gets a restart inside the Trent half. Miller now finds Gill. Gill battled really well to win that. Miller now coordinating the attack. Finds Booth. Who can she find? Ah. Booth attempts to find Bentley, but uh, the disc had already found its way wide of the mark. Still 11 5. To the green and gold as we prepare for another restart. The sun's come back out, but we do have a lovely afternoon breeze to. Uh, Stop us literally cooking here. Trent have the... <laughs> well, they did just have the disc in their own end zone there. Um, intercepted by Miller, though. What can Miller do with this? An unexpected chance for Euron to get on the attack. Miller finds Gill. Gill now, what can he do? He weighs up his options, goes back to Miller. Furthest player back. Miller finds Booth. Booth. Looks for Bill. Uh, look for Gill, sorry. And uh, unfortunately, wide of the mark there. Still 11 5 to the University of Nottingham. As Trent restart. Of course, deep in their own half. UON have them penned in here. I can't remember the last time that Trent actually managed to get out their own half. This is uh, incredible, even, even in possession. And again, Trent lose the disc very close to their own end zone now. Surely. The University of Nottingham have to capitalise on this and score their 12th point of the game. Surely, with this gift, Symington now. So close to that end zone. Finds Bentley! There we go. They had to take that chance and they did. That's 12 5. An absolute gift for UON. Signed, sealed, delivered. Bentley. On the score sheet again, 12-5 to the green and gold, Trent on the attack on the halfway line, weighs up his options and they give it away again, how are you meant to win a game of, of ultimate if you just keep hitting the floor, as Bell tried an immediate restart, didn't come off, quite poor and now Trent trying an immediate restart of their own which does not come off fortunately for the green and gold. Both teams trying to pick up the pace of this match, but both failing as we have another stoppage. And we're going to have a UON restart here with Bell. A very important member of the team now, Tom Bell. Last time I commentated on a UON Ultimate game, Tom Bell 
was in his first year and here he is now third year an extremely important cog in this UON machine however that was a very poor pass from him as, uh, as Trent regained possession I was just singing Bell's praises there in uh, a very poor pass I think I might have jinxed him there um, but Trent back in possession in the UON half looking dangerous to be fair to them what can they do? What can they do? He's going to go backwards. Patient from Trent this time. And it does not come off. The attempted pass into the end zone is quite long. And unfortunately, for the team in pink, they still only have five points on the board. As Bell prepares for a restart. And uh, I won't sing his praises this time, because last time it jinxed him. I'll, uh, I'll simply say that he is in possession of the disc, ready to restart for his side. As we have the, uh, the loud noises of the uh, A453 behind us. Hopefully not affecting the audio quality of this commentary too much. Miller gives it away. This is an opportunity for Trent. And if, if, if they are to stand a chance of getting back into this, they have to take this chance. And they don't. And they don't. That's why... That's why they're not going to win this game. You know, gifted a chance there. That's the difference between the two sides. Earlier on, Trent gave the ball away right near their end zone. UON profited accordingly. UON make a similar mistake. Trent failed to capitalise, and that is the difference between these two teams. As we have another restart on our hands, again with Bell. Can he kickstart a point scoring UON attack? We shall see. Bell finds Ferris. Ferris, what's he going to do? He thought about going long, stops, goes short to Bell. Bell now finds Miller. Miller goes long and he finds Israel. Oh, and it's not quite in the end zone yet, but Israel finds Gator. There we go. Fantastic pass by Miller to really unlock that Trent defence. Israel caught it just outside the end zone. I thought for a second that it was inside, but she kept her cool. Found George Gaten, Johnny on the spot. 13-6, 13-5, sorry, 13-5, 13-5 to the green and gold. That was absolutely excellent there. Miller's pass was absolutely instrumental for the scoring of that point. We restart now, UON just two points from victory as Trent go very long. And it comes off and it leaves them in a very good position now. Busting a gut to get into the end zone and the wind. The wind involved itself there, I think. That was a big opportunity for Trent. And if they were ever going to pull off the comeback to end all comebacks, they had to take that chance and they did not. 13-5, still the score. UON with an eight point lead when their opponents have scored only five. Surely it's coming home to the University of Nottingham. Poor play though from UON means that Trent have another chance to launch an attack. They have the disc inside UON territory. What can they do with it? They need a point and fast. That much is obvious. And a poor throw again, poor pass wide of the mark and hitting the ground before any Trent player could get on the end of it. Score remains 13-5 and Wilson will restart the game for the green and gold. And the England game's in half an hour, the Euros, I think they want to put this game to bed quickly. As Wilson Fails to find Booth. That, that pass had a lot of pace in it. If she caught that, that would have been quite something. But uh, 
unfortunately not. Trent back in possession. Euro in back of possession with Booth. Who she finds? She finds Wilson. Wilson now. Weighs up his options. Who's in space? He finds Gill. Gill now. Can he find Stewart? No, he can't, unfortunately. 13 5. The score remains. Very low pass there. Would have been very difficult for Stewart to reach. Tried to get away with one there because that was a uh, fantastic chance for the green and gold. And one that I would have expected them to take, but unfortunately, this time. The, uh, the pass into the end zone wasn't quite on the money and as a result Trent get away with one and it remains 13-5 as they prepare to restart what can they do Pff, nothing is the answer to that very poor pass big opportunity for UON now Booth picks up and immediately does not find a teammate it's intercepted very well and um, here come Trent can they string some passes together and actually get out of the pitch and score a point that's that's what they need to do ultimately in this game of ultimate. Yeah, moving it quite nicely now though. Still in their own half though, but they have made up some ground because they were right on the edge of their end zone. And here they come on the halfway line now. Slight pause, the momentum has slightly gone from this attack, but they are still looking dangerous. In UON territory now, what can they do? Effective marking from University of Nottingham. Simmington there with a fantastic interception. Killed that pass in its crib. I've used that phrase a lot today, I don't know why. But anyway, Wilson fails to find Booth. NCU back in possession. They really need to take advantage here and make this attack count. On the halfway line, just behind. Oh, brilliant interception there. Oliver Sanabe. Booth tries to go fast. Finds the original interceptor. He plays it to the end zone. And he's caught by Bedley. That's 14 for the green and gold. They are on the cusp of a vasty victory in the Nottingham Games. So close now. One more point. And this game is put to bed. That, that point was all about Watanabe there. Intercepting pass with his foot. And then ultimately setting up Bentley to catch in the end zone. And score UON's 14th point of the day. They are in dreamland at the moment. UON get the game underway again. Trent on the attack now. It's quite a tidy attack so far. Still quite far from the UON end zone though. And they need a miracle. But again, simple catch drops. Here come UON. Can they, can they kill this game here? Ferris now. Just on the inside of his own half finds Israel. Still just inside the UON half. She finds Bell. Inside the Trent half now, Tom Bell finds Gayton. What can Gayton do here? He can find Potter. On the brink, UON finds Booth. Is this where the game finishes? Is this where they seal victory? Israel now finds Bell. And that is that. Tom Bell confirms UON's victory. 15-5, absolute dominant display from the green and gold, Tom Bell, the final point scorer 
for University of Nottingham. Just commanding, just absolutely commanding, incredible performance you've got to give it to the green and gold. UON victorious here at Clifton Campus and a point for University of Nottingham in the Nottingham Games.